Hi guys, welcome to the video. As you can see from the title, this is gonna be all about how I am improving my strength and endurance during this time. I'm gonna be starting off with a leg workout on my balcony, followed by a run outside. Before I get on into the video, uh, just two really quick things. Uh, I've looked at my analytics from the last month and 60% of you guys that are watching my videos are not subscribed. So I would really appreciate if you take two seconds just to hit that subscribe button and help the channel grow. And uh, yeah, I'd really appreciate that. The second thing is I've been really pleased to see everyone get involved with the Jack Blake challenge, especially the most recent one, which was up against the wall. I'm going to plug my three favorite videos right now. Close. Congrats to Eli, who won the Saltair FC shirt. If you haven't checked out Saltair FC, go check them out, www.saltairfc.com. And if you use the code Blake48 to get 25% off everything. Uh, really good football club, really good company, run by really good people. So go check them out. Let's get on into the video. So before we get into the session, I just want to let you know I've done a full warm up. Um, it's really important to warm up the legs going into a, a heavy leg session. Um, those of you that haven't already seen my five favorite pre-ab exercises, uh, they're in my home workout video. So they're my five favorite exercises to do before going into a session. So I've already done those. Uh, this is today's session. As you can see, legs, plenty of gains involved. Uh, those of you that's watched my gym sessions before, you'll know that I like supersets. The reason I like supersets is because it keeps the heart rate up and not only train strength, but you can also train endurance. So as you can see from the reps, we're gonna be doing high amount of reps, uh, mainly because that, again, comes in with the strength and endurance, football being an endurance sport. Um, so at this time, I'm training my strength and endurance. So we're gonna start off with a lot of, um, the leg exercises are predominantly glute and hamstring based, um, very heavy, heavy exercises. And then once I've completed the leg exercise, I'm then gonna go straight into an upper body exercise. Um, and the final one, I'm gonna superset with a, a, a groin exercise. So this is gonna be the leg workout. Two things I'm gonna do right before I do my leg workout, I'm gonna show you right now that involve a glute band and all you need is body weight for the second one. So those of you that don't know, that's called a glute band. Really, really is a great exercise for firing the glutes, getting them prepared. Because the first exercise we're gonna go into uh, when I start my leg session is a barbell hip thrust, which is pure glute and hamstring strength. So it's really important to avoid injury to warm up the glutes. So this one is an isometric hold. So I'm gonna time on my phone, 30 seconds each leg. I'm just gonna stay in this position. Really helps to fire the quads, glutes, and hamstrings. And then after this, I'm gonna go straight into a wall sit. To make this exercise harder, you can add a plate, add some weight, um, but this is a really tough exercise, or you can uh, increase 
increase the time. So I'm doing 30 seconds each leg and then 60 seconds wall sit. And with the wall set, it's important to keep your back right up against the wall. And if you can, get your legs 90 degrees. So it should be a 90 degree angle here. A uh, really good one for the quads. Get them fired before the session. Today's session has obviously got a lot of equipment in it. Um, you guys should be pretty knowledgeable about home workouts at the moment. So yeah, looking forward to smashing this leg workout. So before I start the first exercise, I'm just gonna get everything ready. This is a power block. So those of you that haven't seen it before, really good piece of equipment. It's almost as if having uh, a full set of dumbbells available all in one block. So as you can see, the colors here are also connected to the colors here. So for the dumbbell row, I'm gonna start on 60 pounds. So that's the yellow one. So I pull this thing out, put it in the yellow one, lift it out, good to go. And then the first exercise we're gonna do, I use a blanket for this, anything soft helps. I'm gonna get into a position where my shoulders are on this chair and I'm gonna do hip thrusts. The good thing about hip thrusts is they're very relatable to, to my sport and sport in general. So when I'm doing a hip thrust, it's almost like emulating a jump or a sprint in football because you're thrusting your hips forward and it's just a very powerful exercise and I really enjoy it. So let's get on with the first set. one done um, a lot of you guys have been asking me how much rest I take when I do my uh, my exercises and stuff as a common rule usually especially when I'm training endurance um, is not give myself too much rest so usually however long it takes me to complete the exercises so that first set probably took me around a minute to a minute and a half to complete everything then I'll give myself that same amount of time in rest roughly I'm not like stop watching it, but that's just the roughly uh, amount of rest that I'm taking. So I'm gonna hop in set two now. I swear I need it. I go over anything like ranch. Facts. Think I want a yacht and a ranch. Yes. Hit the boulevard and hit my dance. Everybody wanna be a boss, but they can't. But they mother. Yeah, I go over anything like ranch. Had to tell my old hoes, bon voyage like I'm in France. Hey, now I eat hors d'oeuvres and get them. So, going into the final set, full set. Um, one thing I'm concentrating on throughout this, all the sets is doing this exercise. Is if I can keep my toes up whilst I'm doing the exercises, it really activates the hamstrings and glutes. So, that's one focus that I'm, I try and concentrate on during this exercise. And I'm going to go into that exercise. It's all about contracting the back muscles at the top. So when I'm really pulling up and I'm at the top of the range, then it's really like about contracting that back muscle and keeping it like nice and tight. Sometimes to make the exercise harder, I can like hold at the top. But uh, that's gonna be the two things that I'm concentrating on this. And also not breaking my balls on the uh, bar. <laughs> 
Sex Shack, bent back, face down, popping for the realest in the game. Over everything like ranch in the kitchens where I stay with the sauce. I go over anything like ranch. Facts. Think I want a yacht and a ranch. Yes. Hit the boulevard and hit my dance. Everybody wanna be a boss, but they can't. But they motherfucking can't. I go over anything like ranch. Finger licking good, got a thumb and do a bend. 10, 7, 57, where I fucking stand. Find me in the back, banging drums with my hands. Yeah, they call me Ringo, baby, I'm a star. Blowing in the dark, big brand like a star. So, second superset is going to be an RDL single leg, which is mainly based for the hamstrings. And I'm going to be holding the dumbbells, and I'm going to be going down, up, flat back, all the good stuff, and then straight into a decline push-up. So my feet are going to be on the chair. I'm going to be going into a push-up position, but these are 1.5 push-ups. So I'm going to be going down into a normal push-up, up, and then I'm going to do a half push-up, and then back up again. That's one rep. I would do 15 of them. So it's like one and a half reps. You'll see when I go into it. If all that we get is his life, that shall not ever conform. I refuse to be the same, never needed to belong. They won't ever change who we are. They won't ever change who we are. If all that we get is his life, that shall not ever conform. I refuse to be the same, never needed to belong. They won't ever change who we are. They won't ever change who we are. When they had nothing to say Speaking down on you good name Speaking down on you good name 33,000 bouquets Raining down on your parade See we have gathered today Here we have gathered today That really helps, you got a big nose like me. So. <laughs> so, going to the second set, one thing I'm concentrating on is when I go down, keeping the flat back um, and not rounding my back um, because then I'll like pull a muscle in my back and then just concentrating on contracting the hamstring. I'm using 50 pound dumbbells each side, so it's 100 pounds in total. Obviously, you guys use what you want. Huh. Huh. Welcome to Forever, man. Myself, they call me J O N to the easy E. Yeah. Huh. Know that we undefeated, y'all are beneath them speeds, it's trying to air a grievance. But his lines are overhead, better check the air. That's what the chair's here for. After. Collapse onto the chair after you finish. <laughs> See, this is forever. Huh. All the more times I've been seven, I'm raising the boy, you can go ahead and mess up. Yeah. Think about time for a toast. Yeah. Time that we welcome the goat. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, we're just leaving, I think about time that somebody go get on their coat. You know I got all that anthem, come back in, what you call that ad on? Got anthems and bands with masters, getting them rights like my name was Miranda. Yeah. One more time, this is forever, remember the legend, he never gon' die, yeah I ain't bigger dead than alive, bigger dead than alive I ain't bigger dead than alive, dead, dead, dead than alive, yeah I ain't bigger dead than alive, bigger dead than alive, la, la, la Just make it sure that you know why, because this is forever Uh-huh And there will be no surrender So heading on into the final superset, we got Bulgarian split squats. For me, one of the exercises I hate, but are so good for you. Uh, really good for creating, like I said, strength, endurance, also power. 
uh, in a single leg, single leg position. So uh, I'd highly recommend that one, but at the same time I absolutely hate it. And they're gonna go into some Copenhagen's. Nice little way to finish off. And they're gonna head out for a run. Some people have been asking me, what, do, what should I do first? Like, work out in the gym, then run, or run, then work out? For me, it's personal preference. As long as, you, as, long as you're doing the session, it doesn't matter. Uh, I always prefer to run after, because when I'm running, I like to feel like I'm fatigued already, because then when it comes to a game, I feel fresh, I feel great. Personal preference for me, there's no wrong or right way. So into the dreaded Bulgarians. I was having nightmares about this last night. <laughs> uh, I like to mark where I put my foot. So sometimes it's difficult, especially when you're carrying weight. I'm using uh, 50 pounds again each side. So I like to mark where I'm gonna put my foot. And basically I'm gonna get in this position to get where it feels comfortable. And during the exercise, I'm basically gonna be going down and up, down and up. So I just like to mark where I'm gonna put my foot. Makes it much easier when I'm going into it and I'm holding 100 pounds. Myself, they call me J O N to the easy E N. Know that we undefeated, y'all are beneath them speeds. Just trying to air a grievance, but his lines are overhead. Better check the air for clearance. Call the tower, this is our credit. He the air apparent. Uh -huh. Really, I've never been better. Yeah. Legacy, this is forever. Huh. All the more times I've been seven, I'm raising the bar. You can go ahead and measure. Yeah. Think about time for a toast. Yeah. Time that we welcome the goat. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, we're just leaving. I think about time that somebody go get him the coat. You know I got all that anthem. Come back in, what you call that add-on? Got anthems and bands with masters getting them rights like my name was Miranda. Huh. I'm going into Copenhagen's. Very good one for the, the adductors. Into a side plank, up, down slow. You're sure that you know why, because this is forever. Uh huh. And there will be no surrender. Pay to see. Got something to say to me, say You know I've been waiting so patiently This is my legacy Y'all don't believe me, they wait Basically, I have been running things You can just go on and take a seat, yeah Love when they hated me, put that on everything Not on my level, you can be the enemy This is the planet, we showing them anyway Hit up the lawyers and give them the NDA rule This is the brand new, this is the brand new Nothing you can do, nothing you can do And there ain't no thing that you'll be taking from me Man, it came from nothing made It's something, name is buzzing Call me Ryan Gosling, hey girl, know that they gonna love me more When I'm gone, I'm retired to throw The kind of things that I'm on gonna be feeling like a god because this is forever uh -huh. and there will be no surrender yeah. you want more apple juice you want more apple juice <laughs> Session done. So, when you go out and do the run, once again we use the Team Builder app. So, all our runs are given to us and all the programs are given to us by the club. So, I'm gonna check the Team Builder app, show you guys, and then we're gonna go out and do the run. But it was a really good session. <laughs> Full on attack on the yeah. camera. Let's get these two. Uh, can we do some Bulgarian split squats? Are we? Yeah? New best friends, aren't you? Oh, hey, pal. Oh, is Winnie coming to do some as well? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Finished leg workout, feeling good, feeling strong, legs like jelly at the moment. 
So in between doing that workout and now getting out for a run, I'm gonna have some Vital Proteins collagen drink. And I've spoken about the benefits of collagen and all the supplements I take, so if you haven't watched that video, go check it out. Um, so I'm gonna drink this now, get a good amount of protein in, ready for my run, um, recover the muscles quickly if I can. And let me show you the running session that we're doing today. So once again, we're going into the Team Builder app, click on the running conditioning for today and it's gonna be fart leg. So we're gonna go down, do a bit of a five to seven minute warm up, and then the fart leg run we're gonna do is four sets of five minute rounds. So the first round we're gonna do is 10 seconds run, 10 seconds jog, and that's gonna be five minutes straight. So that's 15 reps of that. And then we're gonna have two minutes rest, and then go into 20 seconds run, 20 seconds jog, two minutes rest, go back to 10 seconds, 10 seconds, then finish with 20, 20. So it's uh, 20 minutes in total of running uh, with two minutes rest in between of each one. Um, it'll be a decent session. I'm gonna track it on my watch. I'll show you the data after. And uh, yeah, looking forward to going and doing the run. Um, it should be a tough one. I'm gonna do it on, you can run around the field or you can do shuttle runs. So on, on the length of the field, if you don't have that much area, I think I'm gonna do shuttle runs today and incorporate a change of direction. So looking forward to it. And I'll see you guys at the field. All right guys, here we are at the field. Uh, I'm gonna do five to seven minutes of dynamic stretches, show you what I do, like my routine before I go running. Um, we're also gonna be tracking the data on this Polar watch. So the club have given each player this watch and we're logging every training session we do, whether it's a, a workout in the gym or whether it's a running session, and then they can then collect the, the data and then determine like future sessions. So uh, I'm gonna be doing the session, I'll show you the data afterwards. Um, let's get on into it and smash the session. straight on into the run. I'm gonna start off the session with a 10 second run followed by a 10 second jog. I'm gonna do that straight for five minutes. I'm gonna have two minutes rest and then I'm gonna do 20 seconds run, 20 seconds jog, straight five minutes, then back to 10, 10, and then finish with the fourth set being 20, 20. So it's 20 minutes total of running and then two minutes rest between each set. And I'm gonna run back and forth. So I'm gonna incorporate a change of direction Obviously whilst using my watch as well, I'm gonna see the time starts, time finish. And uh, yeah, especially with the 10 seconds, it might be a bit difficult because I'm gonna be looking at my watch a lot. But um, the club and me really wanna uh, concentrate on that high intensity speed. So when I'm doing my 10 second or 20 second run, I'm trying to get up some a good amount of, of pace that I can maintain for the five minutes. Yeah. Yeah. After I get it, I reinvest. 
After I get it, I reinvest. People wanna talk that talk in reality. You have not seen me in action. You think the come up comes overnight. You ain't behind the scenes. Trust me, these things don't just happen. No shade to Gerald, but G's don't come easy when you tryna eat. I produce and rapping. I read that contract you sent me to sign, but excuse me, I can't help myself. I'm just laughing. Hey, you try to cut out a piece of my pie, and I ask you politely, what's it that you offer me? Yeah, I produce all my own beats, and I have no intention of losing my publisher. Yeah, independent individual boy, I've been eating off passive residuals. Yeah, let's be professional. Thanks for your time. But I had to decline at a principle hey, I've been scheming up a plan hey, I've been saving all I can hey, You can call me David Rams hey, The way I handle these bands hey, We ain't messing with the old model oh, You wear a new kid, we full throttle oh, Know that the come up is not a flow My amigos, they focus, know what to do After I get it, I reinvest After I get it, I reinvest After I get it, I reinvest Stack it, stack it, stack it, put it back in it After I get it, I reinvest First set down, it really is difficult because that 10 second rest feels like no rest at all. So, currently I finished at 16 minutes. That was the first set because I started at 11 minutes after my warm up. Uh, my heart rate's at 134. I think when I looked at my watch, the highest it was at was like 179, 180, which is high. I think my heart rate max is like 185, so that was good. I got two minutes rest and then back into it doing 20 seconds on, 20 seconds off. Tell them I'm staying right here. Uh, tell them I'm switching my gear. Yeah. Tell them I'm just getting started. Uh, tell them this year is my year. Ay. Tell them I'm staying right here. Uh, tell them I'm switching my gear. Yeah. Tell them I'm just getting started. Uh, tell them this year is my year. I've been this well since a boom. Uh, I'll take the man to the tomb. Yeah. Now they all ask what I'm doing. Uh, well, you see it is soon. Uh, say that they know what to do. Uh, say I should listen to you. Yeah. Y'all don't know what I've been doing. Uh, trust me, you don't got a clue. Take the tide to my front door Only fiends coming through the bay Got my problems, I want more Lead the pass up in the past And a set two I've got about a minute and a half rest Left oh, That's tough, especially when you incorporate the change of direction And Even that 20 seconds rest seems like double the one before but it doesn't Like The 20 second run Feels like I'm running for a minute and the 20 second rest feels like 5 seconds rest well, it's another one for that endurance because there's not much rest. You're working one to one rest and work ratio. That's tough. So, five seconds left for the rest. Heart rate's at 130, back into the 10 tent. Let me in my zone, please don't let me in my zone. Let me in my zone, let me, let me in my zone. Let me in my zone, please don't let me in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go and play that. Take you down, I'ma say that. Money me a couple dollars. Telling you now this payback. Huh? So I take that. Ask them now what's saving. I've been going to the top and I got what they not, so I know that they hate that. Uh, but I'm on now. All these lanes gonna zone now, and all these lanes gonna take what I did and they twist and they worse till I fall out. Huh? But I know that. So I keep what I'm doing cause I own it And I stay in the lab and I kill everything But I don't ever move, I'm a code ass. Those 10 tens, man They're gonna kill me Heart rate 175 Time total, 30 minutes Distance we've covered so far, 3.58 kilometers. We've got one more set to go. Back into the 2020s. Man, 2020, what a year. Got about a minute left for us before I head into the last set. Where this is gonna really help, like my game, when I come back to play and when the season starts up again, is in a game you're not just like constantly jogging. There's lots of stop, start, running quick, running slow. And if you can have that capability of being able to recover quickly, so even though it's 10 second rest, 
getting my heart rate from 180 quickly back down to something like 160, 165 to go again. That's gonna help me when I'm doing my high intensity. So this training is all about repeated sprinting, but being able to recover quickly. Hey, I'm on top, really I'm on top. Every morning we drive, been on the grind, know I had to survive, we had to win, started from the dirt and the rubble, I had to be the needle that was popping your bubble, letting the air out, walking with a clear route, how we gon' rise today, I'm making mine today, go make yours, double back and flip the proceeds, last year on the corner sipping OE, had to get off the block, best friend smoking rock, best man called the cops, rose from the city that never sleeps, it's the melting pot. I got 37, 37 minutes, heart rate's at 178, 4.68k. That's some good shit right there. I'm gonna cool down now, go for a little walk, walk, walk the legs off, get the lactic acid out have a bit of a stretch, and then I'll see you back at home, I'll show you my post-workout meal. So, back in the kitchen now, uh, this is my post-workout meal. Uh, those of you that follow me on Instagram will know that I love my overnight oats. So, overnight oats, you basically just prepare it the night before, chuck everything in a bowl, put it in the fridge, and then it's ready to go. Obviously, finishing that workout and the leg workout, I haven't got much energy to like start cooking now. I'll put all the ingredients on the screen right now. Let's get into the session itself. So this is the data from the session. So the duration including the warm up was 40 minutes, 54 seconds. We nearly covered 5K, 500 calories over. And you can see from the maximum heart rate that you know 183, that's really close to my maximum. Um, so that means I'm working in the real high intensity zones and those 20 second and 10 second bursts of speed, my heart rate's shooting up and then when you don't have much rest, your heart rate stays at that level. So these sessions are really good for improving the endurance and also the strength in your legs. Another really good day of training, uh, leg workout was tough, uh, run was very tough. If you've enjoyed the video, smash the like button and like I said at the start of the video, please take two seconds to hit that subscribe button, it really helps me out. I'll see you on the next video.